Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Feminine Podcast here and I'm really, really glad to talk about my one of my favorite topics, which is money, finances and all this stuff. So um, this uh, episode is the second one of leveling up financially. And I think it's really important to level up financially. I will put in the little eye, uh, the little recommendation, my other video on why you need to level up financially. And to me, it's really important. I really stress on this. It's really, really important for you to level up financially. It will give you power. It will give you choice. It will give you the yummy, luxurious lifestyle you want, if you want some. If you don't want a luxurious lifestyle and you want to be living high in the mountain in a small house you will need money anyway to achieve this you can't like build a house from the wood in the forest even if you might yeah even if you could but you know i'm getting too far anyway so this is my book recommendation i will be giving uh, five books that i've read already several times for some of them and the first one is rich dad poor dad so rich dad poor dad was written by uh, Robert Kiyosaki and I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing well I'm not really like English is not my native language <laughs> unfortunately so sorry for the pronunciation and I would not be spoiling you but to me this is like the basics of finances and especially how rich people work and how rich people think. He will be giving uh, some advice and especially some kind of lessons and it's not that easy to read even though it was written kind of by uh, for a nine-year-old but some stuff could be tricky you might want to come back to certain pages to get uh, information so he's just telling you how rich people do how rich kids get raised and what they, they learn from their parents that you as a poor or modest family wouldn't have like didn't have as as information because your parents didn't know about that about this topic. The second one is uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I suggest you to read this book at least five times <laughs> because this book can be really really hard. Uh, but to me, it's still for beginners. If you read it once, you will get the thing. There is a secret kept by rich people that make them. Get money. The first one is really uh, practical, really theory-like, really how it works outside, how money works. This one, Think and Grow Rich, is more of a mindset kind of book. It's more of what is happening inside of you for you to become rich because it's not only knowing about the theory. A lot of people know about money, but not everyone has the um, energy and not everyone has the mindset for it. So he's talking about mindset, he's talking about desires, he's talk he like interviewed several people and uh, he also studied several rich people, like really, really rich, really rich people, richest people at the time and just got everything they did and put it in this book. And they all have something in common that is this secret that you're going to understand through the book. So I really suggest you to read this one. I know you can get rich without reading this one. But if you read this one, I'm sure it's going to be quicker. The third one is Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. <laughs> Sorry for the pronunciation again. Miracle Morning is one of my favorite books. Uh, it, ch it changed my life forever. The Miracle Morning is something that I discovered on social media, but I didn't know it was related to a book. And Miracle Morning is, if ever, like everyone has 24 hours. We don't have the same 24 hours. Some people have children, some people have a husband, some, pe some people are working several jobs. I understand. But if you could take the time in the morning to wake up one hour earlier, you'd be shocked on how you could evolve. And I started doing the Miracle Morning I'm still lacking discipline. I've been struggling with depression, as you know, but I'm trying my best to do what is inside the Miracle Morning. It's what everyone is telling you. It's what every mindset, uh, personal development gurus are telling you, but in one book. And the book is so easy to read. Like, it's like so short. It's so easy to read. And I really suggest you to read this one. It will change your life forever. Don't hesitate to write on it, to just highlight everything you, you don't understand. Don't hesitate to be with the community. 
don't hesitate to go on his uh, website. Like this book would change your life forever. Just wake up earlier. It doesn't even have to be a hour. It could be five minutes. But just these minutes to use the law of attraction, move your body. I don't want to spoil too much, but yeah, use law of attraction, move your body and journal just to change your life, change your mindset and change everything around you. The fourth book that I'm recommending is uh, The Millionaire Next Door. I had a really, really hard time reading this one, but it was suggested by many, many people, so many people that I had to read this one. It was really, really hard for me, even uh, as an intermediate in the field, because I don't see myself as a beginner anymore. Um, I have to work on the imposter syndrome, by the way, because I used to say that I'm a beginner, but I'm not at all. But we will talk about imposter syndrome in another episode, all right? <laughs> so let's talk about The Millionaire Next Door. It was really hard to read because English isn't my first language. I used to read autobiographies in English, but not this kind of finances, uh, a lot of numbers and a lot of calculations books. But if ever you are an English speaker or you can understand English at least a little bit, you will understand everything. If you can get it in your own language, it will be great too. But The Millionaire Next Door is a book about telling how a millionaire really lives. A lot of people, uh, especially me when I was really young, but now that I know, before reading this book, I knew what he, they were saying, but it was put into numbers and they were studying stuff that I wouldn't even think about, like people receiving money from their parents, uh, like do you have enough money for your age and uh, your your salary, the salary you get. There are so many stuff that you can learn from this book, how a, million, a lot of millionaires are self-made uh, and how they live, like their real lifestyle or their frugal or their spending. A lot of people used to think that a luxurious lifestyle is the way millionaires go, but they could be really wrong. We only see this because a lot of millionaires don't even show themselves on social media. But the millionaire we see are those who have this lavish lifestyle, of course. But who are those that are hidden? You know, in my in my country, I heard that there is a village where a lot of uh, millionaires are living and people don't even know. People don't even know they are living there. They have a really simple life. They are really humble. They live in the normal neighborhoods and all this stuff. So you have to read this book to understand that sometimes... Uh, you might be spending on think that on things that aren't really interesting, and you might think that the kind of guy you're looking for is a millionaire, but maybe he's not. And yeah, it will just explain to you a lot of stuff. You will understand several stuff. I just suggest you to read this one and get how the the real millionaires, as I like to call them, are living their lifestyle. The last one is the richest book uh, the richest man in babylon and this book i really like this one it was suggested to me by several of my friends and it's really written like the bible it's like an ancient way of uh, writing writing if that makes sense not really like too old uh, they don't use like they don't use some really weird words but I've read it in English, by the way. I've read it in English, so it means that you can do it too. It's not that hard to understand if you're not an English speaker. And if you are, that's really great. You would be loving this book. It just tells you every rules you have to know about money. It's not about mindset. It's not about lifestyle, like the previous one. It's not about personal development. This one is really how you can manage your money. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, how you can manage your money... Where do you need to invest? Which percentage you have to put into savings? Uh, like, don't go into debt for this kind of stuff. And it's really, like, it's a story. So it's not, like, really boring with uh, just random stuff. You have to do this and you have to... No, it's, like, a real story. So you get... You even... Um, you even remember the story so you can remember the lesson behind it. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. So the first one was what which kid know that we don't, we weren't raised with. The second one is about mindset. The third one is about personal development. The fourth one is about lifestyle and way of acting as a millionaire. 
And the fifth one is a story on every rules you have to know and how to manage and to get there. So I hope you liked this video. It was pretty short. I'm really glad that it was short. It was short. I didn't want to spoil too much. If you have any questions, don't uh, hesitate to ask in the comments. I've read them all and I will put all of them in the description box below. Uh, the, the, the normal books uh, in English. And if you want to get them uh, in your in your own language, that's perfect. I really suggest you to read, to read this. It's only the first part because I, I love reading. I read several books. You will be have you will have a second part, like a part two for sure. And I'm really glad uh, to do this video because I love helping people getting money. We will get money. All of my community will be rich. Say amen. <laughs> All of my community will be rich. Everyone who subscribes to me will be rich. I don't accept my um, my community not to have the money and not to have the choice. So yeah, don't hesitate to read this, these books. And I know that some people don't like reading. So there are audio books. I will be putting them in uh, the description box too, if I can find them. So thank you for listening to this video. Stay tuned for the part two. Stay, stay tuned for the other videos of this uh, series because it's really important. I really want you to get uh, your notebook and to read everything I say about finances, okay? Thank you so much for listening and see you in the next one. Bye.